Hey guys, I'm Aaron Van Gorp, uh, youth pastor out of Harvest Time Church. You're looking at the new church building that we're having built here. This is the front door outside of it. And if you walk in here, uh, we're going to show you the entrance area. We're going to show you our new youth room. We'll just talk a little bit about the plans that we have for the future of the youth group um, and the vision that we have here. Um, as you can see, you're walking up to the front of this. We got the window set up when you come in the door right to your right you're going to see the sanctuary and when you come in first if you're in the foyer and right to your left there's going to be kind of the eating area where everybody sits down you know everybody's eating and that kind of thing and then to the side of it's our youth room so they've got the studs up and everything like that and they're putting it together some of the plywood's up right in there's the sanctuary if you just want to glance over there and then if you look over here to the left coming through here, this is the foyer area, this doorway right here, and you can see this is where they have tables spread out for everybody eating when we're, you know, doing fellowship things, and then right in here, this is our very own youth room, and thank God we're not going to have to share it with the children's church anymore, or anything like that. It's not extremely big, but it's big enough for us to start with, and um, I've got a couple different ideas, we might, you know, do something funky, paint it black, put freaky lights in, I don't know, and well, we'll make it new and eccentric, you know, and, uh, you know, make it a Tarvis Time church-like, make it our own. Um, but our goal is, you know, after, when we do fun things and stuff, uh, we'll spread the chairs, kind of push them out, and we'll use this area here. And then if we have to, we'll actually come over here and just kind of kick the tables, the chairs out of the way, and we can use this room. So uh, my goal is, um, you know, probably in about couple months once we get in here I want to be able to kind of outgrow that split the youth group up by age group if we have to and uh, we'll utilize these two rooms here maybe and I haven't talked to pastor about that so shh don't tell anybody but then our ultimate goal if you walk over here is uh, I'm believing that in about a year and a half we're going to be able to outgrow that room back there and even using the foyer area and I'm believing that we're going to be able to just take over the sanctuary here on Friday night so just Take a night, kick the adults out, and kind of make it our own thing. This is the sanctuary here. You can see where all that water is up there. That's going to be where the stage is at. All the instruments are going to be up there. And from what I hear, we're going to be able to fit about 200 people in here comfortably. Cramming them in, we can probably fit a little more. So I just want you to take a second. Just imagine this place, Mike, if you just want to, want to pan around here. Just imagine this place full of teenagers and young adults just seeking the face of God. And, um, you know, as well as having fun things and some games and stuff like that. So uh, this is our vision. This is our goal. So y'all believe with us. And Micah and Chris are with me here today. And uh, we're just checking out the checking out the new building. So y'all pray for us and, uh, you know, get on board. We've got some youth events coming up and things like that. So get on board and, and just believe with us that uh, we can pack this place out and do what God wants us to do. So stay connected to our Facebook, like it, click it, tell your friends, tell your people, tell your mama's roommates, jailmates, buddy and friend, and uh, let's get it done. So love you guys, and uh, hope you stay connected, and hope you come and visit us at It's Harvest Time Youth Group. Love you all.